Doctor, how is Leanne? <coughs> Doctor oh, Phelan do. says that if she continues recovering at this rate, she'll come home early next week sometime. Oh. Yeah, great news. Doctor Phelan told me the same thing. Uh, he also said that when she gets home, she has to take it very, very easy. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what I keep telling her. You want some coffee, Duke? Yeah, great. Thanks. Hey, our pop called uh, before I left my place. He said uh, he and Mrs. Hughes are on the way home this morning. So I guess that'll please Dr. Bob, huh? Mm -hmm. so, did you talk to Susan? You know what time she wants me to come in today? Um, I think not till after lunch, or maybe not at all, uh, depending on how her work goes. I think she needs to get more of her research notes together before she wants you to feed them into the computer. Well, that's good, because then we can spend the whole day together. Yeah, well, it's kind of weird, though. She said she was taking that work home last night and doing it there. I guess uh, she didn't get as much work as she thought she was gonna. So I know for a fact she was working last night, but uh, not at home. I. Stopped by the lab about 9 o'clock, and she was there with Dr. Bob. Hi, excuse me, Dad. Your secretary said I might find you down here. I, uh, I've got a meeting with Rex. I'll, I'll see you later. Hello, Susan. Goodbye, Susan. So Kim's on her way home. That's good, huh? Hey, Dad, I know the last couple months have been tough on you. Kim's been really involved in Andy's problem and consequently spending a lot of time with John and uh, it's taken its toll on you I've noticed especially the last couple days that obvious huh yeah anyway Andy's getting the help he needs thank God and so John won't have any excuses for hanging around Kim so much good time for the two of you maybe to get away for a weekend maybe take that trip up to the Stewart cabin that you missed over the anniversary I mean things can only start looking up huh Hello. Hi, Mama. It's me. Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little late for lunch because uh, Mac wants to talk to me about something, and then I have to take a deposition with Hal. So I will be there as close to 12.30 as I possibly can be. Well, wh whenever. It doesn't really matter. Um, has Hal heard any more about Barbara? No, not since we got a trace on that call from Edinburgh. Yeah, I think it's really strange that Barbara would have anything to do with this lawyer, Brandon Kendall. I mean, I thought you were all convinced that he had something to do with helping James Stenbeck when he was on the run. Yeah, well, we still believe that's true, just like we think Stenbeck uh, bankrolled Tony Reyes's new business, but knowing it and proving it are two different things. Uh, Mama, I, I will talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Hello, Blake. Hi, Margo. I was looking for Jess. Alice thought she might be here. Well, she was, and she left, and where she went, I don't know. Well, if you talk to her before I do, would you tell her that my parents are coming in late this afternoon? Oh, 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 introducing the girlfriend to the parents. I think things are getting a little more serious between you two than you're willing to admit. Ah, uh, you women always making a big deal out of nothing. Oh, you men always pretending things aren't a big deal when you know perfectly well they are. <laughs> Margo, if you're free. Ah, uh, yeah, we will continue this conversation at another point, Mr. Stevenson. I'm right? sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. You told me more about the promotion? Yeah. Yeah, I have, and I'm, I'm very flattered, and I'm very honored that you consider me, you know... Use, please. Will you cut to the chase? I can't take it, Mac. I just, I just don't think that it would be fair for me to take on additional responsibility, knowing that a year or two down the road, I'd have to give it up. Well, why would sooner. you have to do that? Because Tom and I are going to have a baby. So? You take a maternity leave, you deliver the kid, and you're back in action. I... I, yeah, I, no, I mean, no, no. I think that being a full-time wife and mother it just seems pretty cool to me right now. You? Oh, that's funny. That is not so far-fetched. Margo, you live and breathe police work. Yes, well, people change, you know? They get older, you have children. Sometimes you have some medical problems. You begin to realize there's more to life than an all-night steak out and 10 cups of coffee a day. I know that. What do you think I'm delegating some of my authority to you in the first place? <laughs> well, what about Hal? He's my next choice. You were my first. Ah, oh, shucks, man. Hey, don't oh. listen. Didn't they teach you not to kiss your commanding officer at the yeah, academy? Yeah, it's in the book. Yeah, right? get out of here already and help Hal take that deposition for the Foster case. All right. But listen, um, if you need me for anything, I'm going to be at Mama's for lunch. Okay? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be thinking of you while I have my broccoli florets under yogurt. Hal, see me ASAP. That's as soon as possible. I'm supposed to give that package to Margot for Lila.
Yeah, well, I went to the store to get Katie some yeah. milk. Right. <clears throat> Hello, Casey. Mac. Uh, we're in the kitchen. Yo. Uh, hey, Mac. Hey, Tom. How are we doing? Good. Good. I was supposed to give these to Margot to bring over here, and I forgot to give them. Oh, them. goodies from Grandma. You can just put them on the counter over there. Oh, okay. You want to stay for lunch? We're at my mom's famous lasagna. <laughs> oh, you are cruel. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Nancy would have a stroke. <laughs> Something smells good. Oh, bottomless pizza, right? Yo, bottomless pit. It's lasagna, but we got to wait for Lila and Margot. Yeah. I know that. I uh, just want something to tie me over. You're well, starving. Have a couple of these Anna said cookies. Mm. They've been flown from Boston. Hey, they look good. Yeah, my mom made those too. By any chance, these wouldn't be low cal, low fat, low sodium, would it? Well, <laughs> as cookies go, they're not too bad. And if you want my medical opinion, uh, you can have one, but just one. Oh, you are my kind of doctor, Doc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Tom. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess I don't have to tell you that. Oh, I wish that Margot hadn't turned down that promotion, although I do understand her reasons. Whoa, 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 back up, back up. Now, I knew that there was a rumor that Margot might be offered a promotion, but she never told me that she got it. Oh, well, I think I put my foot in my mouth there. Just don't tell her that I... Mac? That you what, Mac? Mac? You... What's the matter? You okay, Mac? Can you talk? Mac? Mac? <laughs> 